Anyway, um, we're here. Looks like, looks like that. I got it to line up a little bit better. And so I have two hours, a little under two hours left to complete this 24 hour challenge. Hopefully after I render out this other interior one, then I have enough to build everything. Oh my God, how exciting I could have Sunday off. Yeah, let's just get right into it. here and recently I was prepping for my final review at UPenn and I ended up doing a 24-hour challenge okay so it is it is 2 14 and I am going to be doing a 24-hour transformation challenge for final review so I finished all of the base renders but now I am just going to live in Photoshop for the next 24 hours and bring you guys along with me I thought this would be a really cool video I don't know if another video like this actually exists on the internet but you know me I like keeping things spicy I guess and I gave myself 24 hours to complete this challenge and really just one proof to myself that I was able to do a lot in 24 hours to kind of get it over with. Having base renders is critical for your architecture presentations and I just thought I would bring you along, show you how I work a little bit. This time around I was really strictly in Photoshop but I did go back a little bit in Rhino. I also apologize about my room because it is final review week. I really have not been sleeping on like a normal sleeping schedule. I've been super busy just rendering out everything. I finished the plan and the plan looks really good. I'm really proud of it. I also did a section perspective and I'm so proud of that one too. Section perspectives are always sometimes hard to do, but I was really, really happy with the quality of work I did for the section perspective. I did a elevation render. So that's already done, but I might actually actually recolor that one so it matches the render renders. So without further ado, let's hop downstairs and get right to it. So on my last all-nighter video, I did explain the project, but in case you didn't see that, we are tasked with designing a expansion for a pen museum located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And my project is called Flow, and it just is based on and inspired by a person's movement through spaces and interaction with artifacts. Okay, so it is 2.48 and I'm actually gonna take a nap because I'm tired and I'm not being productive right now. So I might as well take a nap. I'm gonna wake up at four. So 24 hours. <laughs> Let's see if I can finish everything. All right, it is 4.30 um, and I'm gonna rush downstairs. I feel pretty good. Um, I'm in good shape all of the renders are done which took majority of last night and today and then now I get to do the fun part which is just photoshop everything and I'm really excited So here I am working on the aerial perspective. I didn't have enough time to go back and edit everything, so unfortunately this turned out to be the worst render of the set. But the aerial perspective just kind of shows the sighting of my massing for the project and kind of shows the interaction with the existing building. Okay, so it is 7, 7.08. At night and honestly I hate the aerial perspective so I'm probably gonna redo it but it's okay for now just like as a placeholder I need to figure out how to render it in Rhino in just a better way so I'm going back to Rhino which I was fingers crossing I didn't have to do so I kind of gave up on that one paused it for a little bit because it was getting a little frustrated because it doesn't look that good um, and right now I'm working on the interior render and the interior render is also causing me a bunch of problems so this is really unfortunate, hate to see it. I'm going back in Rhino again to see if there's a way for me to diffuse 
use the light on the interior. I think that's really important given the project and how it's translucent concrete and it's supposed to diffuse light in the interior, but right now at the moment it's really not accomplishing that. So off to Rhino we go and I'm not crying yet, so that's a good that's a good sign, you know, staying positive, always a good sign, but we'll see. Also, I don't know if you can hear that, that's my dryer. I've been listening to that for the past 40 minutes and it's just awful, so. Can you oil a dryer? I don't know. So I kind of stopped on the aerial perspective and here you can see I am working on the interior render. Now because the building material for this proposal includes translucent concrete with the interior render, I was really trying to show how it diffuses light. So my first attempt at this was rendering out a secondary image and layering that in Photoshop consisting of several what I call Dalmatian spots. I plan to color all of these Dalmatian spots with light leaks, but that did not work. So I had to go back to Rhino, cut out a bunch of gaps and holes in the poly surface, re-render it, and that is how I achieved the light leaks. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I'll try my best to explain it. But really, after I cut all of these holes in Rhino, I just photoshopped everything like I originally planned, and it worked. Okay, so it's now 9.35 and I am layering my renders right now. Um, well, I still have to render out another one and hopefully after I render out this other interior one, then I have enough to build everything. Another component to this interior render that I toyed around with for the first time were adding V-ray lighting to the interior of this render. I ended up really liking the final result and I thought there was a sense of added drama. So it is 1.07 in the morning. I just finished the interior render and it is so misty and I think my professor is literally going to shit on it. And I don't know if he's gonna like it, but I kind of like it. It's like definitely a different style because it is translucent concrete. It's really hard for me to show the translucency and V-Ray doesn't really have that option to show its translucency because I only want the lighting effect. I don't necessarily want to see the other buildings around it. I only want the light. Um, and yeah, that's just, that's what happened. So, oh God. So we'll see how this goes. I still need to fix the aerial perspective. I, ha I write everything down in this little fake moleskin. Um, I need to do a nighttime render of um, a exterior perspective. Um, and then I still need to do a street render of the perspective overall. Can't wait to get rid of So can I do it in like 12? hours I don't know we'll see oh my god how exciting I could have Sunday off So here I begin right before I go to bed working on this nighttime render
All right, it's two in the morning and my render actually looks really good. I love nighttime renders. I think they're so dramatic and so just so cool. And this does a really good job of showing the translucent concrete, which the other renders honestly haven't done a really good job at showing. So here is what the render looks like at right now. Right now I'm adding in the little cute little oak trees. Um, and I think I'm going to bed. This video isn't an all-nighter kind of video i just kind of gave myself not an impossible deadline it's very doable but a very challenging deadline to finish all of my renders within 24 hours so So I was feeling still a little bit ambitious and I ended up adding and finishing all the grass and groundwork before I went to bed. It's all photoshopped, I just used the cloning tool and some reference grass images that I found off of Google. Alright, well... It's three and I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning. It's nine. Because I went to bed at three, I didn't wake up. I sometimes wake up at four, five, six. So still a lot of time between nine and two. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty confident that I can still finish everything. Once again, I literally can't believe I'm putting this on the internet. So if you don't mind, give this a like. I'm really close to being monetized, guys. And this is crucial for me as I am putting myself through grad school. And... Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support so far. So the morning is a great time for a cup of coffee. I make my vegan sausage. I recently went vegan. Um, it's been fun. Anyway, I digress. I am adding the entourage to this nighttime render. Scale is always really important and that's why I always encourage people to add entourage. I ended up changing the light color um, after my TA made a very valid comment saying it looked a little too photoshopped and not genuine. So I gave it more of a warmer tone which changed the whole game for this render. And that is what the final render actually looked like and what I presented at review. Well, it's noon. Um, I'm on the last render and I have two hours left to complete it. So, will it get done? I don't know. I realized that my rendered out view is actually a little off. So, I'm going to have to either re-render, play with the perspective warp in Photoshop, but I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good and it's honestly like pretty cool that I'm able to complete all of the renders within 24 hours. Super productive 24 hours and yeah, I just hope you guys like these kind of videos and like following me along. So I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm actually gonna go shower um, just because I feel a little gross right now and get right back downstairs. But I'm definitely less stressed than my peers because I finished the plan and the section already. So that was really good to see and I will see you guys soon. So just like I thought, I did have to go back and render out some base images and I lined them up in Photoshop. It was much faster and easier for me to do it this way. So I had to align all of my layers in Photoshop and here I am cutting out some crucial key information just to make this render look more realistic than just totally fake. I mean, come on, this building is totally fake. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and then I'm just kind of doing some 
tricks in Photoshop just to make this render look a little bit better and more my style and more cohesive also with the other drawings. Now you will know that there is this transitional component from the existing brickwork to this translucent concrete material and that was the probably most challenging part of this render and I just had to hand go in and lasso out all the bricks so it looks like it transitioned in a very nice way and this was one component to the review that went super well for me because I did this. you would be so proud of me i'm really kicking my addiction to the curb i did not watch pride and prejudice once in these 24 hours who is she i don't even know is this natalie anymore probably not okay so it is 1 51 it is all it's close to 24 hours the render looks decent it's doable so i might honestly just submit this enjoy the rest of my day probably not i still need to do the animation so whoops <laughs> but really good effort um and the sun is starting to set outside and yeah it's been a really really productive 24 hours So here I just did a crude mashup of the works in progress renders with the base renders but at the end of the video I show you the base renders versus the final renders so just keep watching but this is just what I submitted at the end of the day of this 24 hour challenge. if you would like a Photoshop tutorial as to how I do it. I can really slow it down for you guys and just kind of show you step by step what worked best for me. Don't forget to uh, join our Discord. I have a Patreon, Teespring, all that good stuff in the description box down below. And I hope to see you next time. Love you guys.